welcome back to my channel. I'll be reacting to Animation Rewind's newest video. Oh, brain fine. Um, God. Daniels versus Darkseid. The rematch. Yep, it says it right there. Thanos versus Darkseid rematch. So, yes, guys, this is this will be the rematch. Um, after season one, episode 54, I want to say. I think 54 or 53. Which he did say without an anti life equation, the Infinity Gauntlet and Stone. So, that will be pretty hard because I did not know too much about each character but I would but I do know without the anti-life equation and the Finny gauntlet I uh, but here's the thing I'm not sure because I have not seen these two without the anti-life equation and the um, the anti-life equation and the Finny gauntlet which all depends on which version he's using. Because, hey, who knows? Maybe one, well, one Thanos is stronger than Dark Side, or one Dark Side is stronger and better than Thanos. But if I do have to pick, if you guys are forcing me to pick, I have seen a movie with Dark Side. Well, one of the Justice League and Dark Side. Um, well, and also this was also during uh, Hurricane Irma. I have seen one movie with them, literally the whole movie, which I do want to say with Dark Side. But at the same time, I did grow up with Thanos. Well, not grew up. I seen like a part. Okay, because this is Marvel series called um, Marvel's Avengers Assemble, all that stuff, that little series. And I did see the... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to pick. I'm not going to pick. Because I do not know too much about each character. All I know is that they are they have a shitload of spirits. And those ones I still, those I still don't get cussed because my brother's still here. My baby my baby, baby brother. But anyways, yes, guys, I'm not going to side because it's already tough for me to pick. Because I don't know, again, I don't know too much about each character. And, yeah, I don't know too much about each character, which I can't be like, oh, yeah, he's stronger and faster than I am because he can tag and catch da da And can also tag and also can beat da da Like, you know what I'm saying. Without further ado, guys, let's get on with Senor Video. Right now. Those was guys just they you date oh wait, let me back this up a little bit. Sorry. I know we should have done all this before I even started, but we know we but What's yes, up, everyone? but yes, guys. I of oh, the third season of Cartoon Flight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind. Real quick, before we move on with tonight's episode, there's a very important season three update that I'd like you to watch if you haven't seen it yet. This update video is filled with a ton of important yeah. information that my fans really need to know and understand. Yeah, I have seen it. Support season three. But if you have seen that video and you know how the game is played, but um. Damn it, I lost my chair saw. Damn it. Um I'll probably I'll probably put in like a little text right now of what I did say if I don't, my bad. I literally lost my train of thought. But anyways, yes guys, I have seen the video for this. Um apparently since all these expensive expensive animation, it is costing him more than he thought. It's only been like what two months, a month or two at least. But yes, and this was um. I know I have to watch um. No, I know it's react yeah, to Smokey the Bear versus McGruff the Crime Dog from Death Bell. Um, 
yeah, there's a, a few things I gotta react to, gotta catch up. But without further ado, let's get on with this video now. No! No! Don't wait a minute. Get ready for the fight. And tonight we have the long awaited rematch between Thanos the Mad Titan and Dark Side God of Apocalypse. That's right, it is a rematch, so be sure to watch part one if you haven't seen this part two. This rematch has them in their base forms. No anti life equation, no infinity gauntlet. A straight on grudge match between Thanos and Dark Side. So let's not waste any time and introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. Right. Have you ever wondered why Dark Side is that scale so though? What if I told you that there was once time when he was a happy little boy. Well, if I told you that, I'd be lying. Darkseid <laughs> was always a bit of an unsettling presence, to say the least. This is because he comes from a new uh, faction of gods right. known as, that's right, the new gods. And if there is new gods, that means some I'm sorry, guys. Gods I'm just... fought in a war, and risen from the ashes uh, of that war were okay, the yeah, new gods quality. and two new plants. A bit of an unsettling presence, to say the least. Fight Club's they were. Next round I'm sorry. Oh, um, I'm and sorry. Have you wondered why Darkseid is always so grumpy? What if I told you that there was once a time when he was a happy little boy? Well, if I told you that, I'd be lying. Darkseid was always a bit of an unsettling presence, to say the least. This is because he comes from a new faction of gods known as, that's right, the new gods. And it's such a creative gods, name, am I right, guys? happened to the old gods, which is correct. Something did happen. For some reason, the old gods fought in a war, and risen from the ashes of that war were the new gods and two new planets. These planets were Apocalypse and New Genesis. With no Ooh. explanation, New Genesis was the heavenly light world, and Apocalypse was pretty much hell. So the mainly, uh, uh, uh God and the Satan new ruler of planet. Apocalypse, Dark Side, really didn't like this life equation for some reason. Which is why he seeks the anti-life equation. And that is pretty much Darkseid's story. Well, hmm. at least a summary of it. He's an angry godlike ruler who will do anything to get his big that face though. of the anti-life equation. But in his Wait, way, go like, back. I'm sorry. Anything to get his big that face though. Wait, let me see if I can back this up an extra story. Well, at least a summary of it. He's an angry godlike ruler who will do anything to get his that face, though, literally, that face, literally, that face, that face says it all. My God. Big beady claws of the anti-life equation, but in his way lie the Justice League and his son, Orion, except he killed Orion, so just the Justice League. No, this guy well, of course it is. colossal super strength as a high-tier cosmic being, Darkseid can easily overpower and kill most galactic beings. He can bend and break through virtually any man-made metal, can lift extremely heavy objects, and decimate full-size buildings and other structures with his might. He possesses enough strength F to the buildings beings such as Superman and Spectre in combat. His signature move is the Omega Beam. He focuses this power as a form of energy that he fires from his eyes. This effect not only is a relentless attack, but it is capable of teleporting the target to any location Darkseid chooses and recall them later or erase the target from the universe and similarly reform them. Darkseid Damn. has pinpoint control over his Omega Beams, which allows it to travel in straight lines or bend and twist on his command. As a god of apocalypse, Darkseid can live almost indefinitely. He cannot age, wither, or degrade. However, like a good majority of gods, <clears throat> high tier aliens such as Kryptonians can and have killed him. Now, obviously, Darkseid has died and has been beaten before. He must have a weakness, and he does, which is Radion. Dark side and oh wait, I don't think this bell had peptide in any ways. Substance known as radion. It sources I don't think this bell had peptide, so I don't think Thanos can get that. Pressure. The average new god can be slain by as little as a single radion bullet. And last, <laughs> we have Dark Side's Omega effect. This is the core of Bitch which slap off, abilities manifest from. This effect allows him to transverse through time and space, also enabling him to break barriers and force fields. In other words, the Omega effect is similar to telekinesis on steroids. Oh my gosh. Dark side is Why a is it? Oh my god. I can imagine it right now. Just like his head has that like little bulge and be like... 
different elements such as Rain. <laughs> oh no. Thanos is back, but this time he is without the Infinity Stones or his Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah. Regardless, he is still a feared Titan Eternal. In fact, he is one of the most powerful Titan Eternals in the Marvel Universe. Now yes, technically Thanos is of the Eternal race, but more accurately, he's an offshoot sect, which is known more promptly as Deviants. The Deviants hmm. are similar to Eternals in terms of power, gene, and immunity against aging and disease. However, they lack nobility and a good-willed spirit. Mobility or nobility? Comes in. His story starts off as a prince on Saturn's moon, Titan. Since Thanos was so different from his family, he often quietly Such disagreed a with their peace on peace and prosperity. At first, he was more fearful of his bad thoughts and not proud of them. This changed when he traveled into an uncharted temple and laid eyes on his crush Death herself. Blinded by love, he really wanted to impress Death, so he thought it'd be a good idea My to destroy all life in God. order to bring her over. And thanks to his impressive power, he was able to yeah, that's the series I was talking about in the Marvel Universe. So let's go over those powers. He is fast enough to keep up with Silver Surfer, strong enough to wrestle with the Hulk. Powerful enough to outblast Thor and smart enough to outthink Galactus. Thanos has displayed great God damn Galactus. of his energy projection powers. He has demonstrated the ability to project energy with a concessive force. Gamma radiation bursts, infrared heat beams, and disruptor beams, as well as form force fields. Thanos possesses vast telepathic abilities. His mind is invulnerable to most forms of psychic attack. So far, Thanos has demonstrated ability to project blasts of so, somewhat like illusion. as well as being able to shut down another being's mind and can communicate Sh get shut with down not all beings like all eternals he is immortal in the sense that he is immune to all known diseases and infections plus the effects of aging formerly thanos was banned by death itself from entering its realm rendering him truly immortal no matter the severity of any body or spirit thanos will be unable to die since technically he is banned despite his extraordinary durability it is possible to injure thanos immortality is not the same as omnipotence Technically, his spirit might be impossible to put to rest, but his physical body does have limits that can be broken. Overall, you want, I'm not Thanos surprised. Is a supreme eternal life I'm not surprised, to be honest. Power and death. He will do whatever it takes to please his love for death. And now, let's set ourselves a circumstance. This battle will take place on Earth, and remember, this is a grudge match in their base forms. So no Infinity Stones, no Infinity Gauntlet, and no Anti-Life Equation, no preparation. With all this in okay, mind, yeah. let the battle begin. Okay, yep. Okay, yep. So, Thanos effed. He's literally fucked. Got my ears. Thanos reigns. The multiverse is mine. That voice of Thanos. Destiny awaits. I shall rule unopposed. Okay, let's just put this down a little bit lower. It's not over. Because these sound effects are high. For a motherfucker. Well, before dark side. Sure you can. Power. Ah, come on, deep fart. Omega shot. Omega shot. Omega shot. I thought it was Omega beam, not shot. But whatever. Okay, one. I don't think they were fighting a fire building. Nice, Thanos. 
Oh, really? He's died by the Mega Beam against a moon. With a little sandwich. Really? I hope you enjoyed that animation. Special thanks to Isaac B for putting it together. Also, please hmm. check out the Cartoon Fight Night channel. Nice job, Isaac. If you're watching this video. That I think some of you would enjoy. Thanks, and now for the post analysis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, before. Actually. Oh, my gosh, notification. But, anyways, before I do get on with the video, I know I'm behind. Two, two animation, um, Cartoon Fight Club, which is Manga vs. Comics, Hyper War, and Asuna vs. Weiss. Asuna vs. Weiss, there's no way. Because I've seen that way too many times on All Star Showdown, which I reacted to, and Diphenoid. I feel like some other channel too. But anyway, that, that's mainly why I am not reacting to that because I already know who will win Weiss because of her much more useful arsenal, much more stronger, faster, more experienced. Plus even though Asuna is only is a team player, which she is not used to fighting solo too. I mean so I know is Weiss, but it, but Asuna has shown much more being a team player than actually than actually a solo person like Kirito. But here's the thing. Weiss does do that too, but it's more consistent on her being solo than actually with Asuna. But the, yeah, but that's a whole different video. Let's get on with this now. We break down each category. It is important to understand that, yes, technically Thanos is banned from death. But immortality is not the same as omnipotence. No. Sure, his spirit can never be rested in the realm of death, but that doesn't mean his physical body is 1,000% completely unbreakable. Thanos with that infinity gauntlet does have his fair share of limits. While they are impressive in high limits, they do have their peaks, and so does Darkseid, as I'm about to explain, though Darkseid's peaks are a bit higher, which does give him the win. <laughs> When it comes to speed, both characters are impressively fast. Now, in comic books, it's kind of impossible to pinpoint exact numbers since time is usually implied and not directly stated. With that in mind, okay. Darkseid is easily fast enough to keep up with Superman and, more impressively, Spectre in combat. Now, it is hard for me to say exactly who's faster between him, Superman, and Spectre since they do trade blows fairly equally as directly stated. With that in mind, Darkseid is easily fast enough to keep up with Superman and, more impressively, Spectre in combat. Now, it is hard for me to say exactly who's faster between him, Superman, and Spectre, since they do trade blows fairly equally at similar rates. Plus, it is clear that Darkseid is slower than the Flash, since it was the Black Racer who impaled Darkseid. But then again, who is exactly faster than the Flash? Not many people, if not anyone at all. As for Thanos, Superman. we've seen him be on par with the likes of Silver Surfer, who is one of the fastest characters in the Marvel Universe. The thing for both Darkseid and Thanos is that their best speed feats come from scaling. So this opens up a can of worms in debating who's faster, Superman, Spectre, or Silver Surfer. Especially with comics exclusively, it's going to be really hard to give you a black and white answer on exact speed mm. limitations. But for what it's worth, sure. I will say I mean, that Silver Surfer I mean. is far more consistent with his speed when compared to both Superman and Spectre. The thing with Superman is in he the fluctuates comics. depending on solar intake. Sometimes he's faster than other moments. And Spectre, it's really tough to say if he was giving 100% full effort in his fight against Darkseid. So I'm not saying sure. Silver Surfer is faster than Spectre. All I'm saying is I don't know if Spectre was going 100% against Darkseid. Plus, technically, Superman is faster than Darkseid when nearing his peak, and Superman is more reliant on physical travel, whereas Darkseid is more reliant on teleportation. Silver Surfer hmm. has a very consistent speed history, so for Thanos to be on par with that will give me an ever so slightly speed edge to Thanos. Ever and so please slightly. keep in mind when I say slight, because this thing is very, very close. That right. could go either way. Very slight. This one is where Darkseid easily takes the cake. Thanos is a strong dude, yeah. but his best strength feats come from wearing that Infinity Gauntlet. Yes, without the Gauntlet, Thanos can still scale to Thor and Hulk in terms of strength, but those at the very best can be stalemated by Darkseid scaling to Superman and Doomsday. 
True. However, we see the weaker incarnation of Darkseid being New 52 Darkseid hold down an entire plane of reality with physical strength alone. If that was New 52, imagine just how My strong God, no. Dark Side could be. Keep no. in mind, this is an entire plane of existence. Thanos has not shown a direct feat of this magnitude. His closest with the <sighs> Infinity Gauntlet is scaling to Hulk and Thor. Hulk is his own can of worms since he's constantly fluctuating in power as he gets angrier, and it will be tough to persuade me a sale pitch saying Thor is stronger than Superman or Doomsday, but because if he so was, he wouldn't be so all reliant on his magic to beat his Hulk enemies if too, he had Doomsday's so. level of sheer physical strength. So the category of strength goes to Darkseid. Okay, you got the like someone call He-Man. This is another pair of categories where Darkseid holds a very impressive edge. While we don't know if Spectre was giving all in his fight against Darkseid, his amount of effort has nothing to do with how durable he is in general. He can lower the amount of force he uses, but he really can't physically make himself more susceptible to damage. With that in mind, Darkseid was powerful enough to greatly damage Spectre with his Omega Beams. And keep in mind, I'm lowballing Spectre, assuming he's not giving it all, just to give Thanos the benefit of doubt here. For durability, it took the power of the Source Wall to put Darkseid in his place. The Source Wall What's is another, one of, if not the issue most too, that entity in the Thanos DCU, don't have the arm. Superman was not Thanos don't know that Radon to is Darkseid with sheer force. Dark side, Plus, without dark the Radon, side there really isn't too, any so. soft spots Thanos could hit Darkseid with. He would need yeah. the power and force equivalent to the force of the Source Wall. If I'll not even powerful than the Source Wall. He doesn't have that amount of power in base form. Speaking of Thanos, his best showcases of durability without the Infinity Gauntlet are being able to survive attacks from Galactic this which is impressive but keep in mind i said survive without the power of cosmic or without the mm. yes infinity gauntlet thanos gets yeah, severely damaged when facing galactus yes there are times when thanos has the upper hands in his fights against galactus but during these times, he's either equipped with the full power of Cosmic, he has the Infinity Stones, he has the full Infinity Gauntlet, or he has preparation. In a random encounter in his base form, Thanos easily gets the crap beaten out of him. When it comes to power alone, Thanos has shown the ability to outpace Silver Surfer in attack potency. But if you want to find anything greater than without power scaling to Silver Surfer, you're going to have to upgrade Thanos with the power of Cosmic or with the Infinity Gauntlet, giving a handily edge for dark side in both power and durability. Yeah. Okay, in okay, experience that guy tied at least. Both characters are essentially even when it comes to experience. Call you it. can debate who has slightly more experience, but you're debating pennies on the dollar. They're both <laughs> extremely old and well-experienced entities who have faced extremely wide varieties of foes. But it's battle intel where Darkseid takes the edge. They call Thanos the Mad Titan for a reason. Because in the heat of battle, he easily grows mad with his power, and a lot of times he acts out of rage. Plus, the majority of his drive, determination... Okay, now my brother's just coming out of nowhere. And will to fight in the first place comes from his blind love to impress death herself. Darkseid, on the other hand, who okay. isn't exactly a happy camper by any means, is usually cool, calm, hey. and collective in his battle hey. decisions. He is extremely Coco. precise on hey. calculating his attacks and battle plans. Darkseid rarely acts out of blind rage and almost always attacks with decisive decision making that includes tactical actions. While yes, both characters are extremely <laughs> experienced, Darkseid takes an edge in battle intel with his ability to stay calculated during a fight, whereas Thanos has a higher tendency to attack out of blind rage. True. I'm not saying Thanos can't use battle intel and can't think tactically, he certainly can, but he has a much higher tendency to let loose and just act like a wild animal. 
Thanos and Darkseid are both insanely powerful beings. They are both feared what? respectfully Don't in their me. universes. However, Don't Thanos is more reliant on his Infinity Gauntlet than Darkseid is with the anti- Nine. Okay, let's skip all this. I'm just trying to record a video. Literally, is that so much to ask for? Let's get on with this. Now. Life equation. When comparing base form, dark side clearly holds edges in strength, power, durability, and intelligence. They're both pretty much tied in experience, and Thanos has a super, super slight edge in speed, but it's a debatable edge and a slight edge at best. Now, the yeah. best defense for Thanos is the fact that he is banned from death. However, as I, I stated a number of times throughout this upload, immortality is not the same as omnipotence. Technically, yes, Thanos' yeah. spirit is banned from entering the realm of rest, oh, known nice. as death, but that doesn't mean his physical oh. body is 100% indestructible. I'm sorry, God, it's my brother. Now, the best defense for Thanos is the fact that he is banned from death. I'm, I'm However, not sure as that, I stated that, uh, a number of times throughout this upload, I'm not sure the, is not the same as omnipotence. Yes. Technically, yes. Thanos is spirit I'm not sure if the camera the actually put the value West, from this, from death, this video. But so. that doesn't mean his physical body is 100% indestructible and that he's somehow completely immune to all forms of damage, destruction, or pain. Plus, Darkseid not true. fapped on Superman's face before. Fapping on Superman's face is quite a piece that, that I've never seen Thanos do. Saying that Darkseid fapped on Superman's face is an indisputable fact. It's something that we have never seen Thanos pull I'm off. Just put it's true what that Superman means got right fapped now. on in the face by Darkseid, making the winner of this battle Darkseid. I can no deal with well, these two means. are the only godlike beings around. So if you want to see a battle of the gods between the likes of Thanos, Darkseid, Beerus, and other godlike ultimate warriors, Ooh. all you have to do is like this video. Me if like this he. video just gets 10,000 likes, that to come. there will be a battle of the gods free for all. Also, don't forget to comment I'm, down I'm your probably put a screenshot of how many likes there are right as I now. Introduce next Saturday's fighters. All right, let's see. Next Saturday on Cartoon Fight Club. A rip of nice. Mario? A certain someone is trying to take over this channel. Mario is a Mario sexist. Mario is trying to crush me, and I ain't having that crap. Mario is a sexist. What's wrong with the oh, mustache? Oh no, you don't. The war is coming. Two idiots. One champion. Looks perfect for Valentine's Day. Rosalina's gonna love all this. She's gonna love the chocolate, the bear, the starburst. She's gonna love everything. It's coming next Saturday, so stay tuned for it. If that feels tuned for it. if that feels like a lifetime away, please check out the Cartoon Fight Night channel where we upload fights almost every night. And don't forget to check out that Cartoon yeah. Fight Club season three update video. It's I'm just gonna watch that off screen now because except for Club. one, that which is Spider-Man versus. To you later. No, wait, even though never mind. Spider-Man vs. Grid Ninja. Automatically know who will win Spider-Man. Because, of course, they're going to be using the Wild Grid Ninja. Which absolutely makes no sense. Just do some research on the Ash Grid Ninja form. But, whatever. Oh my gosh, all the Sans variation versus everybody in fiction. Oh my god. But, yes, guys. Oh, uh, god. But there is one more video that will probably come out next week, which actually my friend Zamara, Zamara, yeah Zamara, we've been friends ever since we were little, so just in case, uh, she wants me to react to, what was it, the Lion, Lion, the Legendary Defenders, I have not seen it yet, I think, I might, I'm not sure, Corn. But anyways, yes, I will be reacting to that pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but it will probably either if I can find on YouTube that will, on my phone, that will be great. And then we're all good. But I will see what I can do. But without further ado, guys, ka Oh shit.
Please punch that like button, phone, computer, and tablet. What you do what the what pff, I can't even say my outro. Whatever you use to watch this video, smash that like button. Come, oh my god, I cannot do it. <laughs> Come on, Jaden. Come on. Come, pff, please punch that like button, phone, computer, tablet. Whatever you use to watch this video, punch that screen. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it whenever we get a chance. But without further ado, guys, peace out. And this was we're five more subscribers away from 200. 200. I already got something. Damn it. I already got something planned for that. So, yeah. But without further ado, guys, peace out. Finally, I said my out.